gentlemen and kids from the Tri-State, welcome to the Wonder Dome of Cerrito Panama. Are you ready for some NWA professional wrestling? Well, let's get it on. Weighing at 260 pounds, from New Bern, North Carolina, Will Huckabee, the Morning Star. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in to Armstrong Tri-State Sports. We're here at the Cerrito Wonderdome for tonight's NWA wrestling event. This is a fundraiser for the Little League of Cerrito Canova. Your first match of today will be between the Morning Star, Will Huckabee, Weighing in at 260 pounds from Newborn, North Carolina. Against Sean Adams from Norfolk, Virginia. Weighing in at 232 pounds, knowing as not afraid. Let's get ready to wrestle. Looks like we got a oh, twist on the arm. Bounces back up. Oh, nice little takedown. Norm bar. I'm sitting here with Dwayne. Here at the Wonder Dome. He's trying to get the big hug back into the ring. Like Will's trying to get him a timeout. Somebody ain't told him there's no timeout in wrestling yet, so. <laughs> you gotta love it. Oh no, here we go over the top. Oh, oh the man, all right on the gym floor. I bet you the big Huck will get back in the ring now. Yeah, he's gonna get a little assistance back in the ring. There he goes. There's got a cover. One, two, two count. Two count, yes. Now he's got him in the headlock. Looks like he's maybe the choke hold, I don't know, but he's asking. He gets back up on his feet. Sean Adams. There he goes. He's quick. move a lot faster than that make him move I would first like to thank Armstrong Tri-State Sports for coming in to the Wonder Dome for tonight's event. But hey, these kids will love it. Takes him down. Looks like Sean. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, nice little move. Nice little reverse there. Got him in the toe cold, maybe a little. Let's see if Big Huck can get up. We'll see here in a minute. Yeah, he's getting up. There we go. Oh, nice little shoulder block. Yes. Huck's back. Let's see if Not Afraid is going to get up from that. I don't know. He's going to start, going to start showing some of that power of his now, it looks like. Oh, reverse. 
And the big hook misses. No. Oh, it takes him down. Power bomb. Let's see if Sean will get up. One, two. Oh, two count. Barely taking it. Almost a three count, but he still gets back up. The Morning Star, the big huck, weighing in 260 pounds. It's taking a toll on Sean Adams, weighing at 232. That little bit of weight difference makes a difference. What do you think? Makes a lot of difference, especially, especially when you're doing something like that. A little bit of weight across the top. He's smart enough to know he's got the five to break that. That's what it's going to be. He's going to use every bit. Oh, a four count. Almost a five, but hey. Uh-oh. Oh, you're great. Five feet to be cute. Yeah. Yes. Oh, the Huck's giving it to the ref. <laughs> Listen to him. He don't want to get this Cerrito Canova Pete upset here. Remember, this is a fundraiser for the kids. They love it. Gentlemen, does not seem to be a big fan of Huntington, West Virginia. Oh, got him back on. Hey, that weight, 260 pounds, will take a toll on, on Sean Adams. He's he oh, oh, uh oh, yeah. He's giving the Canova people. He's talking about the Canova people. The kids are not going to like that. One, two. Another two count. Oh, and now he's talking. I don't know who he's talking to, but I hope. Somebody at ringside. Looks like Sean's down and see what happens. Oh, man. The knee. It looks like got him in the midsection. That ought, to slow, that ought to slow that steamroller down a little bit. Not recovered. afraid. Two count. Let's see what, that's what Sean Adams was going to do off the turn. Oh, right. And a knee in the back. That'll take some air out of you. Two. A uh, two count. Both of them are down. Uh, both, both men are feeling it now. Those big time moves will take a toll on you. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the Wonder Dome of Street Okanagan. But the big huck, here we go. Nice reverse there. Telegraphed that one all the way across the ring. He knew it was coming. I think it took off. Well, no. The Morning Star gets back up. The big huck. Sean Adams. Looks like the wind's out. You can't oh. let your opponent know. You can't let your opponent know that far across the ring what's happening. Ah. Turn it on you every time. That's what happens. I think he's a little overconfident there, Will Huckabee. Let's see if not afraid is going to take advantage of this. I don't know. He looks like he's pretty wore down. A little shot up under the up. Oh, a oh, karate shot. shot. And oh. another one. Oh, now Sean's coming back with it. Poking the eyes. Raking the eyeballs. The elbow in the back of the head. Looks like we have us a pretty good crowd here at the Wonder Dome. Real good crowd. Oh, a real nice crowd. There once again, he used that four count to his advantage. It's a bad mistake here. Don't let that man breathe. You got him down, you need to stay on him. Yep. Like I said, the Morning Star, he's getting overconfident. Big Will Huckabee. That gives uh, Sean's fighting back. All oh, punches to the midsection. Oh, and the knee in the midsection. Right into a solar plexus. I don't take some man out of you in a hurry, buddy. Yep. Into the corner. Huckabee throws it into him. Bottom of the boot to the face, off the turnbuckle, and a drop kick on the big huck. Um, they're both down. I don't know if they both get up. They're both looking a little exhausted. They're trying. They are trying. Uh-oh, getting the five count here. Keep going. They're going to six. 
Which one of them is going to get up? Both men trying to get to their feet, trying to beat that 10 count. Who's going to take advantage of this? They're both exhausted. They're wore down. Sean Adams, oh, and he misses. Once again, just like he did earlier, he let his opponent know what was coming. Yep, got to take advantage. You got to jump right on the chance you get to take him down for the three. Up off on the top turnbuckle with the big hook. He's got Sean, not afraid. A punch in the back of the neck. A boot to the head. He's got old Sean upside down. What is he going to do here? He's going, he's going out to the top. This is a risky move. He could win it for him if he, if he doesn't, but it's also a risky move. It can backfire on you, too. Oh, man, he's kicking in the back of the head. Old Sean Adams. And he takes down the Morning Star. He's got to jump on this if he wants to get a three count on him. Oh. Big elbow he, drop there. One for a cover. One, two. A uh, two count. count. You know, you have to set, stop and think as you watch this for so long what keeps these guys going like this. Ah, oh, punch to the face. And a forearm to the side of the head. European uppercut. Oh, another forearm to the forehead. Looks like they both lock up. Adams and Huckabee. Which one? Oh, now that was a low. Now that was a little illegal. What do you think? Uh, but, you know. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you that. I have, one, I have one simple rule. Three count. It looks like the Morning Star. Will Huckabee win? Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in a few minutes with our second match. Will Huckabee beats Sean Adams. And the winner, from New North Carolina, the morning star, Will Huckabee. Gentlemen, we're back here at the Wonder Dome of Cerrito Canova for our second match. It's the Black Cloud, Joe Black from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds. He'll be visit versing Eric Darkstorm from Huntington, West Virginia, weighing in at 235 pounds. We have a great crowd here at the Wonder Dome. A fundraiser for the Mitch Little League Baseball. Weighing in at 235 pounds, he's from Huntington, West Virginia, Eric Darkstore. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Our second match between the Joe Black, the Black Cloud from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, and Eric Darkstorm from Huntington, West Virginia, weighing in at 235 pounds. What a matchup we have here. We don't know what to expect. The crowd don't know what to expect. But we're getting ready to find out. Weighing in at 205 pounds, 
from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He's known as the Black Cloud, Joe Black. Weighing in at 235 pounds, from Huntington, West Virginia, Eric Cockstorm. Here we go, match number two. Who will it be, the Black Cloud or from the man from Huntington, West Virginia, Mr. Darkstorm? Oh, a takedown by the Black Cloud, Joe Black. Ah, look at him, very confident. Eric Darkstorm is getting his air. He didn't expect that at first. He's trying to get the crowd into it. Hey, Huntington, West Virginia is just a little down the road, not too far from Canova, West Virginia. Dwayne, what do you think here? What's the matchup? What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. We've got speed versus experience here. And it's another deal. So who's going to be a little more wily and who, who can be the smarter of the two? Who's got referee's eyes where they need to be? All right. All right. It's like I started to take you the end of that last match. You know, I did this for a long time. I did it for 18 years. Yep. And my rule number one was if the referee didn't see it, it didn't happen. So, you know, it's just pretty much that season. We have a seven-time United States champion. ULWF from Canova, West Virginia. Dynamite. Dynamite DA, he's a professional wrestler for 18 years, commentating with, with me. I'm Larry Henry. We're giving her our best shot. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. A two count. Looks like Dark Storm is on top of it. But look who we have here commentating with me. Won't you introduce yourself? We're on Armstrong Tri-State Sports. We're here at the Winter Dome of Street, Okanova. Armstrong oh. Tri State Sports. I'd like to take the time to introduce myself. If you don't know, I am the world famous Kenny Young, hanging out here in Canova this Saturday evening at the Wonder Dome. Wonder Dome? What, Wonder Bread Dome? Wonder Dome ring? of Street, Okanova. All right, Wonder Dome no. We've got some action in the ring. We've got Joe Black, the Black Cloud, versus Eric Darkstorm from Huntington, West Virginia. Joe Black, he, he hails from North Carolina area, right? Yes, sir. Uh, Myrtle Beach, the heard, beach area. Heard a lot of good things from this young man from Carolina. They describe him as a, um, if, well, you know, like an African American Chris Benoit, is basically what I've heard. Right. Very technical sound, and he's in there with um, West Virginia's very own Mr. Darkstorm, who everyone, if you don't know who Eric Darkstorm is, and you're in this area, you're really not truly a wrestling fan. That's right. He's a hometown boy. We got us a nice crowd here at the Wonder Dome. Yeah, first time down here. You can know the Wonder Dome. Oh, wait a minute. Dark Storm. Oh. That's, oh, a nice little move by Joe Black. Looks like Dark Storm's trying to kill some momentum. And Mr. Black cut him off. This Wonder Dome has a lot of history. A lot of ball games. They run youth league basketball here. It's been around a long time, uh, lo longer than probably you and I have been born. <laughs> I'm much older than I look. So. <laughs> <laughs> I try to do what I can to familiarize myself with the uh, local history. Right. right. We got a lot of former players back in the Street Okanova here. Former alumni. Okay. See a lot of banners, championships. Oh, hey, a lot of championships. A lot of good players, a lot of great youth here. Looks like uh, Mr. Black's trying to keep this match up a slow tempo. But knowing Darkstone, as we all know, he wants to uh, quicken the pace, so to say. Trying to wear him down. Oh, forearm to the forehead. Darkstorm back. It's back and forth. Uh, who's going to keep standing? I don't know. This is great. This is great. This is great action here. 
A great crowd. Oh, now that was a shot. You could hear that from in the tri-state area. <laughs> oh! A little bit of second win there. A reverse. A nice little move by the dark storm. Oh, and he catches Joe Black. Another clothesline by Dark Storm. See, this pace, I think, this is a hard start for this matchup. Quick and pace such as that. Like that. Cover number three. Almost a three. Hey, it was close. It was close. The crowd here is firmly behind the hometown boy. Eric Dark Storm here today. A little raw and a, a boot to the face by Joe Black from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. See, that move right there tells me that Mr. Black has been scouting. Wow, that was close now. That was very close. Joe Black's got to take advantage. Uh-oh. Looks like Eric Darkstorm took it. That's your winner in the second match. Looks like Mr. Black was set him up with something. Darkstorm counted it, hit him with the move, and then get ball game. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the second match from Huntington, West Virginia, Eric Darkstorm. GQ making his way to the ring. He's got the professor until GQ and the professor. Everyone in this area knows these guys. He's been around wrestling, he's been around this scene. Everyone knows about GQ. The fans just absolutely love to hate this guy. somewhat of a different look than, um, than I've seen him before. Here's a young man I've heard a lot of good things about, Levi Connors. A lot of good things from this young man from Ohio. Looks like he hits the gym, so he's going to be in there at GQ, so he's going to have to do a little, have to move a little bit more to hit the gym when he's taking on an opponent such as GQ. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, with your third match, weighing in at 400 pounds, from Moneyton, West Virginia, he's known as G. Cute, accompanied by the professor. Weighing in at 235 pounds, he's from Senecaville, Ohio, Levi Connors.
It's going to be a test for Mr. Connor to see what he has. All right, I'm back. Larry Henry with Armstrong. Tri-State Sports. We're back at the Wonder Dome. What do you think about this match? Well, GQ is known in this area. A lot of people know him. This is my first time actually seeing Levi Connors in action, but I've heard a lot of good things about this young man from Ohio. So I'm very interested to see if he has some ability. It looks like he hits the gym. I want to see what type of in-ring ability he has. We'll find out real quick against GQ, who is a... Um, GQ? It might, might not look like it, but he's a, very, he's a savvy veteran. I've never understood the name myself, GQ. I'm, I'm not understanding that aspect of the... Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. And size, hey, experience. Yeah. Sometimes ever rolls. He's very clever, let's just say that. He's very clever. Very few people in this in this business have able to actually met, upset me to the point where I become physical with somebody, but um GQ has taken me down that road before. We've so. also got to watch the professor. He's with GQ. Definitely. You wouldn't think weighing four hundred pounds, you need anybody at the ring, but you never know. Never under, uh, underestimate Levi Connors from Seneca, Senecaville, Ohio. Yes, definitely. The young man, I heard, has a lot of talent, a lot of skill. He's got the man advantage against him when he's facing a 400-pound GQ and then oh. the professor at ringside. That whoopee move didn't work. Oh, and the clothesline by Levi. Get some, some explosive ability here tonight. I think he might have caught GQ off. I caught up on guard. Yeah, if I was Levi, I'd get out there and bring him back in the ring, but you know, weighing at 400 pounds. Oh. That is a good sound strategy, and we're going to be you're going to have the professors out there also. So anytime you get an advantage or whatever, then hey, you take it. I mean, this young man, he's young in his career, and I mean, it would be a good victory under his belt to win the victory over GQ, even if it is by count out. Right. The referee's giving him the, the 10 count to get back in. Ah, oh, now we got Levi trying to get the Wonder Dome fans. Because he got the crowd strongly behind him. Shortcut by GQ. He takes him down. Oh, the foot in the back of the head. That'll make you a little dizzy. Oh, yeah. Especially with the foot from 400-pound man. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, nice little jab. Hey, he's got a little bit of... Uh-oh. He's getting a little confident here, a little cocky. It seems like GQ is being very overconfident right now. He's actually toying with the young man from Ohio. We'll see if that's, you know, that's going to cost him later on. Close line, he missed. Oh, the elbow in the chest by the GQ. That was a 400 oh, plus here we go. elbow. We look, got here, there he is, Professor. Got to watch him. I bet he's not giving him a school lesson, I'll tell you that. Definitely not. Homework's not due this weekend. It's Saturday. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Levi with punches in the young man, got, young man has to fight in him. I like that. I can admire that in him. G cute. Oh, no. Twists the arm. Oh, and gets him in the midsection. Oh, the. DGT. Yeah, man. That'll put him over on uh, Two count, almost a three. The young man showing some heart here. He got caught off guard, was hit with the DDT. He was able to kick out of the pending predicament. Levi's trying to kick out, but hey. GQ needs to take advantage of this. Won't you introduce yourself again to our wrestling fans here at the Wonder Dome? Wonder Dome fans, I am none other, for those who don't know me, none other than the world famous Kenny Young. Ah, 400 pounds on a 235 pound. Oh, kicks his knee out underneath of him. Here we go. Oh, he's getting overconfident. <laughs> Two. Oh. Levi showing a lot of heart out there. Look at him. I think DQ was worried about being a little too cute on that last maneuver. Uh, what's the professor doing? He's trying. Anytime professor's out there, you have to watch out for this. This is exactly what you were referring to earlier. Not only is this young man having to go against a 400 pound behemoth than GQ, he also has to go, what is that? What's he do? what are they doing? He just handed him something. Did you see that? Wait a minute. The prep, oh! He's got something he's right in his hand. 
Oh, man. It looks like the professor's going, and it look. Levi Connors from Senecaville, Ohio with the win. We'll be back here in just a few minutes with professional wrestling at the Wonderdome NWA. Here we are back at the Winter Dome. Estrito can have it for a fundraiser for the baseball team at Mitch Stadium. Our fourth match. Onyx. Look at the smoke. Here he comes. The kids love it. These are a lot of the kids' first time ever watching wrestling or even being at a wrestling event. But I guarantee it when they leave here, they're going to love it. While they're introducing this next wrestler coming out, we'd like to give special thanks to Kathy Morrow and the River Cities Event Management for sound and lighting production help. Thank you, Kathy Morrow and the River Cities. These kids will appreciate it. And his opponent. Here we go. From Pikeville, Kentucky, he's Bobby Love. We have Bobby Love coming out from Pikeville, Kentucky. Onyx is waiting on him. We do have a great crowd here for this fundraiser. Looks like Mr. Phil Selby's making a... Looks like our professional wrestler Phil Selby, the Canova Crippler, has made himself a little bit of an appearance. We got Big Joe. Here he comes with his face painted. He's trying to make some friends with the crowd to get him on his side. Big Joe. It doesn't hurt to get everybody on your side in an event like this. The referee's waiting for him. I think he's thinking about it a little bit. Onyx. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, coming from the south side of Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 287 pounds, he's the Black Superman, Onyx. And his opponent, from Pikeville, Kentucky, weighing in at 363 pounds, he's Big Joe.
All right, folks, we got this one about to get underway. This is going to be, uh, this looks like it's going to be a slobber knocker. The black Superman Onyx, who um, we all know that I know very well, against Big Joe. I've never seen Big Joe. I don't know much about him, but uh, he's obviously big. We'll see. We should have a good match up here. We'll see what happens. So it's very rarely as you see someone in the ring that makes Onyx not look as uh, large as he is. Yep, I agree with you. Onyx is a big guy, and I'll tell you, Big Joe. Big guy, yeah. I still wasn't getting in the ring with either one of them. I think <laughs> well, I like being over here on this side talking to you. I was just going to say, on a personal note, I'm in the ring with Onyx pretty much almost at least once a week training and everything. And um, he actually asked for this match. He's been, you know, uh, chewing around in his, in his personal life. He's, you know, in the uh, personal training business now. And actually, if you've seen Onyx in a while, if you haven't seen him, he's actually down to maybe about, from about 330 to about 280 now. So he's wanting to make sure he still has it, the agility of going along with the strength and the quickness and everything. So he actually requested this match. He said, I want one of the biggest, baddest guys you have on the roster is to see how, how it goes. Looks like Big Joe was trying to get the crowd involved. Oh, Onyx, he's got, he turned his back on Big Joe, but hey. This crowd seems to be partisan Big Joe here. Big Joe wants to see a hand from Onyx. Test of strength. This is the biggest test of strength you're probably going to see here all night. <laughs> oh, it, Onyx takes him down to his knees. Big Joe. There would appear to even at 280 now. <laughs> that, uh, Onyx still has a strength advantage. But here comes Big Joe, looks like. He's coming back. Big Joe's trying to take Onyx down to his knees. And it's the battle of the muscles. Yeah, size and levers. A lot of things that you didn't listen to. I didn't listen to personally in science class growing up. <laughs> Ways oh. and measures, size, leverage, all that good stuff. Looks like Onyx laid one in right on Big Joe's head, a headbutt from Onyx. That looked like the headbutt was pretty effective against Big Joe. Did that that kind of take days to Onyx a little bit. Big Joe takes him to the ropes. The clothesline by Big Joe. Onyx said, I got to have a timeout here for a second. Big Joe sending Onyx out the ring to rethink things. Referee Mikey with the count going on right now. The referee's accounting. Onyx has got to get back in the ring. That's a smart move. Get time, regroup, think about it. Get your second win. We got to think for Onyx. I mean, how often is he actually in there with an opponent bigger than him? So it's got to be something that's somewhat different, or different from what he's normally used to. Right. So the strategy's got to be a little different. Yeah, especially since one of his, uh, his go-to moves ahead does seem to be ineffective. Yeah, big Joe's. I think he got the crowd on his side, but you know. The crowd here at the Wonder Dome is clearly behind Big Joe. Oh, head in the back. Head in the back again, back of the head. Onyx. This is the vicious side. I'm not sure if Big Joe has ever been in the ring with somebody who's able to, make, to, to Trying to get him in front and the suplex. Yeah, I, I saw that one coming, trust me. I, I feel that one off. <laughs> Got a two count on Big Joe. Onyx says he ain't fast enough with the count. Onyx raking the eyeball. Now, I announced him at 380. 360 whatever pounds or whatever, but Big Joe seems to be every bit the size, if not larger than GQ. I agree. So I'm wondering maybe those scales might be a little, a little off over there in Kentucky. You need to contact the Weights and manage, Measures Department over there to get some things checked out. Big Joe getting the break, foot on the rope, call for the break. 
big man's not done yet, though. Big Joe, here comes the head button. Kind of dazed Onyx a little bit. Let's see what we're going to do. Here, Big Joe with Onyx off the ropes. Misses with the clothesline and the shoulder. Ah, Onyx is a little confident. Doing some push ups. Right back into that maneuver, trying to get the pin on this one, trying to wear him down. Pulling torquing on that neck. As we know, the neck's connected to the back and everything else. Onyx might not as be, be as big as Big Joe, but you know, hey, any type of weight on the back oh, yeah. takes a toll on you. Yeah. Where's you down? I'll say I'd rather have leg pains or leg issues any day than a back problem. A back problem can be cripple, can cripple you. You can, you know, be, be left done, not be able to do anything at all. He's not time. The crowd is getting behind Big Joe. Looks like Big Joe's getting up. Oh, man. Big Joe with a knee in the midsection. Nice counter. Nice counter. Looks like Big Joe's is taking a toe on him. The clothesline by Big Joe. And a clothesline. Another one. Onyx gets up. Three clotheslines, back to back to back. This is my first time seeing this big show, but this is, this is impressive. This is impressive. Both wrestlers are down. Two count. Looks like it's taking a toll on both of them. Yeah, they're going to have to change, change the playbook, change the game up come up with something to take each either one of them out. Onyx gets back up, knocks Big Joe to the ground. Onyx with the cover. Three, a uh, three count. And your winner, Onyx. Onyx. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back here in just a few minutes. We're on Armstrong Tri-State Sports at the Wonder Dome of Cerrito Canova. We'll be back with you here in just a few minutes. So grab you an ice cold drink and come back to the television. We're back here at the Wonder Dome for our fourth match. Psycho has made his entrance. There's a reason why they call him Psycho.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to end his opponent. Looks like they're getting ready to bring out He's the legendary, the legendary rock, and rock and roll Tommy Gibson. Tommy Gibson. Here he comes, rock and roll Tommy Gibson and the Psycho. You know what? 20 years ago, I believe it was 20 years ago, me and Tycho had a street fight here at CK. You know what? I can't remember. It's 20 years ago, son. Before I get ready, let me tell you something. I have a special little, little fella who's really, really special in my heart. His name is Tracy Dale. Tracy Dale Evans, he was six years old. He fought and fought and fought. And, uh, on our way here tonight, I got a phone call. Tracy Dale lost his life. He's in heaven now, so I dedicate this match to Tracy Dale Evans. Fly on, Tracy. You're a lot better off. But let's get it. Y'all ready to rock and roll? I didn't hear you. Like the psychos jumping right all over Tommy Gibson. Wow. You got Psycho. He has been around everywhere in West Virginia. He's held titles. He's in there with the legend, the legendary Tommy Gibson. Dedicating that match to a young person who lost a battle. Dedicating the match tonight. Heavy heart. Looks like they're both down. Tommy Gibson, he gets back up. That was something. He just came right over. I was, you know, he said they were in street fight 20 years ago. I didn't know if they were going to redo the street fight tonight or not. I mean, I know I wasn't around 20 years ago. I didn't even <laughs> live in this region of the country at that point in time. But <laughs> Right. I think that'd be something the fans here want to I mean, Personally, I'd love to see that. You know? Hey, let's go out in the street and get it on. Hey, man. Nothing like a street fight. Anytime you can see Tommy Gibson in a match, that's that's as, as best you can you, you ask. You can't answer for that better. Looks like the psychos choking Tommy Gibson on the top rope. I think the whole town can open would probably like to see a street fight. Yeah. Imagine I've seen the psycho in a regular match. I cannot even imagine what psycho would be like in a street fight. That might be asking for a little bit of trouble for uh, Rock and Roll, Tommy Gibson, or anyone, actually. Looks like Psycho threw Tommy out of the ring. I guarantee you that's done, Tommy. Oh, no, Psycho. Oh, on the floor. A little mini suplex. Now look at that referee Mikey shows his true colors. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking, folks. Referee Mikey, a good friend of mine. He actually owes me a backpack, which I'm here to collect. That's the reason why I'm here tonight. <laughs> I, think, I think Psycho's telling referee get back in the ring. He's got that shirt on. It's a striped black and white, meaning he's in charge. Mikey needs to know that, understand that. We'll have a talk between you for this next match. But make sure he understands he should be the one in charge. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Got a two count. Tommy Gibson, Gibson gets his foot on the rope. Another. Hard be for me to try to understand or analyze Psycho. I mean, that's just a loaded question in itself, but. You know, he rolls the man in, he takes his time to cover him, and you know, what do you, what do you expect, you know, other than for him to, to kick out? It's like Tommy's back in control though now. Oh, I mean, he's trying to get his win back. Oh, the fist into the forehead. Psycho's not getting up. 
Tommy's trying Tommy. to get the crowd behind him. What, what, what is this? Oh, no. Is that Lance? Is that? That's, that's, oh, no. Here oh, comes. Oh, wait a second. I know that guy. Lance and Jock? That's genuine Jock Sampson. They come in to help. Wow. We just had a disqualification. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mikey has disqualified Psycho. Therefore, the winner of the match, the legendary rock and roll, Tommy Gibson. Tommy Gibson, your winner of the fourth hey, hey, match. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on a second. These, these fans here pay good money to watch Tommy Gibson whoop up on the cycle, and I'll be daggone if it's going to end in dequalification, de okay? So this is what we're going to do. After intermission, Tommy, you're going to tag with Jock Sampson. The psychos over here by the... Lance Erickson and the psycho. We got the karate kid, Tyson Smith. And it's on. Cheer for Tommy. Cheer for Tommy. Psycho. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Psycho's champ. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy Gibson. Tommy Gibson. I just suck. You threw me into getting hurt. Hey, Tommy, 20 years, 20 years only means the dark settles harder on your grave, son. It's been 20 years, 20 years for the psycho. Son, 20 years means I've got to take a shovel. And dig you up, Tommy gets it, so I can get you in the eyes one more time, and I couldn't have picked. A better partner. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna cut folks. We're gonna take a brief intermission after at this. But in 15 minutes, we're gonna have Ladies and gentlemen, tag team we'll be match. back Lance in just a few minutes. Cycle, to go on to stay sports. We'll be right back after this short intermission. Don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start things off first with a tag team matchup. It was made prior to intermission. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here at the Wonder Dome of Cerrito Canova for the second half of the show. A 559 pounds. Introducing Psycho. Psycho and Lance Erickson. Psycho and Lance Erickson coming out. They've made a ring appearance. We would like to thank Armstrong Cross State Sports for this event.
right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the Winter Dome for a tag team event. We got rock and roll Tommy Gibson and Lance Erickson. Showing a little shake and roll. All right, referee's trying to get him ready. Let's see what happens here. Psycho's trying to get the referee's attention. It's not working. Tommy Gibson's trying to get the crowd into it. Looks like a little bit of strategy going on here. Hey, Todd. Lance pins Jock into the corner. Hey. Knocks Big Erickson down to the ground. Like a little strategy. I'm Larry Henry here at the Wonder Dome of Frito Canoe for a fundraiser for the Little League. Looks like Big Jock Sampson trying to get the crowd into it. They lock up again. Erickson. Another hit to the arm. He draws up, he tags in the rock and roll. Legendary, Tommy Gibson. He twists the arm, the arm bar. Twists it, keeps twisting it. Tommy Gibson locks it back in the back. There ain't much here to pull, but somehow rock and roll Tommy Gibson. The referee tries to get him back. Tommy Gibson tags in, but the referee didn't see it. Psycho's trying to distract the referee. Big Lance, another forearm to the face. Psycho's going a little nuts up on the ring. Those Lance, a leg drop. is trying to get in the crowd into the match. I think he's playing a little stalling. Trying to catch his win. Uh-oh, the crowd's chancing. Sissy boy to Mr. Big Jock Sampson. He tags in rock and roll Tommy Gibson. Joining this match a little late, I was in the back trying to get a scoop on everything else that's going down. We got a jam-packed show for you guys tonight. When you guys see some of the stuff that's coming up, it's just, you know. This match, Unprompt 2 match. The legendary rock and roll, Tommy Gibson, Lance Erickson, Psycho, and none other than my buddy, Genuine Jock Sampson of Nelsonville, Ohio. Looks like they're trying to do their best to uh, take out, say you will, uh, Mr. Gibson. Look, he's still fight in him, still has some fight in him. 
Psycho and Erickson so far seem like they've been in control. Psycho picks up Tommy Gibson. He tags in big Lance Erickson. A foot to the chest. Let him rock and roll. A choke hold. He's counting the referee. The one, two count. He's trying to tell Big Jock to get back into the. Tommy Gibson trying to get back up on the on his feet. Psycho comes in. The referee doesn't see it. Sampson's trying to tell the ref. Got the choke. Choke hold on Tommy Gibson. The psycho. But to the back of the head, he tags in big Lance Erickson. Referee's giving the countdown. The foot to the head by the big Lance. Tommy Gibson's winded. Here we go with the suplex. Up he goes. The big Lance is holding him up. Holding him up. What's it going to be? The suplex, I don't know. And down goes Tommy Gibson. One, two, two count. And Dick Sampson steps in, interferes. Here comes the psycho. A foot to the throat, the boot. That'll knock your wind out of you. Psycho gets him. Takes him down. A boot to the back. Psycho comes over and hits Psycho. Psycho hits old Samson in the mouth. Lance steps in. Tommy's down. Doc Samson's trying to get the crowd into it. The kids of the Wonder Dome of Street Okanova, chanting Sissy Boy. Big Lance is hollering at Tommy. Come on. Tommy, get up. Tommy Gibson, Gibson fighting back. He hits Lance in the midsection. Tags in. Big Jock Sampson. Jock Sampson waylays right on top of the top of the head. A big Lance. Here comes Lance. Psycho. Psycho gets a little bit of it. Sampson. Four or five shots to the face. The atomic elbow to the head. Looks like Big Lance is in trouble. Jock keeps him waylaying on to the top of the head. There's only so much he can take. Shots like that. Ah, that one took him down. Jock Sampson wearing down. Lance throws him to the corner. And on, he misses. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the best, the team of Jock Sampson and the legendary Rock and Roll. Jock Sampson. Gibson. And the legendary Rock and Roll. We'll be back here in a few minutes at the Wonder Dome. Grabbing all his cold beverage. And we'll be back here in a minute. beverage came back to the couch or the recliner whichever one you are or sitting on we're here at the wonder dome of Street Oak and Oak. this is the coaches battle royal we're getting ready for the Ladies coaches battle coach, royal this the is the wrestlers. event one of the events that the kids have been waiting to watch the jv and santa gq sean adams We might have a surprise here. I know there's a coach's battle royal, but I don't know. It doesn't look like 
It's a coach's battle royal. All I know is I see JV and Sanity in the ring. And now, the CP coaches. Oh no, I, it is a battle royal. The CK coaches are out. Oh, we got Chad Pump. Oh, Craig Brumfield. Ch Chad Bumgarner. We got the Josh Fouts. They're wailing. The action is just seriously, it's just too fast to call right now. A lot. <laughs> they are wrestling the way they coach here at Canova. It's just pandemonium. Pandemonium. That's the best I can say it. Pandemonium out there. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are proud, I guarantee it. All I know, I saw JB Insanity, and that's all I needed to see. Yeah. That's all I needed to well, see. I knew there was going to be a coach's battle royal, but I didn't know it was going to be like this. Can I, where do I sign up to be a coach? I've been trying to get my hands on JV for five years now. Well. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't have to do the job over here with you, hey. then. <laughs> like I said, I'm Larry Henry. Hey, I'm enjoying this wrestling. Oh, man, that is one lucky son of a gun, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Looks like we have the coaches inside and the wrestlers outside not wanting to take on the CK coaches here. Yeah. I say these young athletes sitting in here in the, in the Wonder Dome, see their coach come out about as quick as I've ever seen a coach come out. They better be careful. There's some, uh, some of these wrestlers, I can't speak for JB, but the rest of them are, are trained professionals, so they might want to pay attention and be careful because you never know what. Um, let's go. Wait. So, where is it? Where? Oh, there's our referee. I was trying to see if referee Mikey had gotten order yet. Looks like we have Chad Bumgarner. He's in the middle. Oh, it looks like Craig. Craig Grumfield. Wow. They're away laying on each other's head. Oh! I'll have to say I've never seen anything like this. This is chaos. I've never seen it. And I love professional wrestling. The coaches, the coaches are actually, well, they were holding their own. I mean, they still are. I mean, GQ. Now it looks like old Craig Grumfield. Someone just got slapped. I think that was Josh Fouch that just got Tomahawk. I'm having to leave the names to you because, like I said, I'm new here. Yeah, I so am. I'm just watching the action. It's fast and furious. Looks like Craig Grumfield just knocked out GQ. GQ's would have been eliminated. Yep. GQ has been eliminated. So sad, GQ. So sad, GQ. Looks like we got Josh Fouch over here in this turnbuckle here in the corner. Oh. Well, Josh, whatever his name is, Josh is getting taken to school yeah, inside Fouch, the yeah, Wonder Dome. I think that knocked knock the wind right out of him. Looks like Chad Bumgarner. Over in the far corner. He's down. Oh. Oh, man. Someone's getting tagged. I'm sorry. Coaches is, coaching is one thing. Wrestling is a completely other That's thing. That's right. Sometimes I'm just, you have just to stick to with you your know. profession. Yes. If you're a coach, you better stick with coaching. Oh. Faust just felt that one. What's going on over here? Let's see what we got here. Kenny, we got uh, GQ out. I'm trying to find out. I think he's still laying on, laying in the floor. A wrestler. Sean Adams. He's been Sean eliminated. Adams was eliminated as well. Looks like we got Chad Bumgarner. Oh no, Josh Fouch is getting up on the top turnbuckle. 
What do we got going on here? Don't do it, coach. Don't do it. You're not a trained professional coach. Don't, I wouldn't try it if I were you. We'll have to put you on the IR. <laughs> yeah. The extended <laughs> disabled list. Josh Fouch trying to get the crowd into it. Somehow. JV is still in there. Somehow. Is that not the. Oh. What is this? Oh! <laughs> Now it looks like it's four on one. The advantage coaches. The advantage coaches. The advantage Josh. coaches. Oh, the Crash atomic burn. elbow. Crash or burn. Crash and burn. That's all Will Huckabee, which is Superman. No, Will Huckabee not. Josh Fouts, one of the coaches. He tried to get up on top and fell off. Oh, this might be it. Huckabee. The Morning Star has been eliminated. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the winner match, the coaches. It looks like the coaches took it. The Battle Royal. Gives us a few minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Here at the Wonder Dome, grab you another ice cold Pepsi and hop back on the couch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here. Hey, guess what? It ain't over. They're still wrestling. We got the coaches fighting the coaches. <laughs> wrestling, not fighting. I tell you, once it gets in your blood, man, it's just, you know, something else. Yeah. It's a wrestling bug. I hope you got your nice cold beverage and hop back on the couch. Hey, the coaches are still after each other. We got Mickey Osborne. Hey! And look, we do have a winner. Look like Mick Osborne, Coach Mickey. The winner of the Battle Royal. I thought it was over, didn't you? But hey, guess what? I, I thought it was over myself. I really, really, really did. Well, I'll get you another ice cold beverage. We'll be back here in just a few minutes here at the Wonder Dome with some NWA wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here at the Wonder Dome of Street Okanoma for some NWA wrestling action. We are getting ready for the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, this main event is a tag team match. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for this main event, the NWA. Here at the Wonder Dome of Street Oklahoma. The barn weighs 400 pounds. They're a team of superstars Shane Matthews and Tyson. Looks like we got Shane Matthews and Tyson, the king of karate, Tyson Smith, for the main event. Here they come. Tag team champions. Looks like Mr. I got something to say right here. Tyson's got okay, something to say. We got a show in Canova, West Virginia. And I'm a former NWA World Champion, and all y'all can do is sit there and root for Phil Selby. Oh, now we're getting a little bit of competition here. You know, we're sitting out there talking about this bond, what the past. And you know, hey, it's a great thing for the community. But let me tell you something. You got two people that came from Sarita Canova, and we're here today to wrestle Phil Selby in the ring. What's that tell you about the Canova Elementary Program? If you want, hey, if you want your kids to get a good education.
education. If you want your kids to go to a, a place where they actually take care of the students and the athletes, won't y'all think about going to Barbersville? Oh, Tyson just lit up the crowd here. Shane Matthews talking a little smack about the wonder. How about the Street of Cuneva area? You're in the wrong town to do that. I don't think the kids will like that. They're letting him know. The King of Marathi, Tyson Smith, and Shane Matthews. Ah. Uh, Looks like Shane Matthews and Tyson Smith will be teaming up. We'll find out here in a minute. Bill Selby, the king of karate, Tyson Smith, talking a little smack. We're going to see what the Canova Crippler will do. Ladies and gentlemen, you bird guy with Ice Cold Pepsi. Or whatever you decide to drink. Getting ready to introduce their tag team. And here he comes, Mr. Phil Selby, the Canova Crippler. Oh. The kids are going proud. Listen to this place, the Wonder Dome. Bill Selby is getting everybody rocking and rolling for this NWA main event. He's the town favorite. Every kid in the community, parents, kids from all over, love this guy. I think Tyson's going to be in for a match in Shane Matthews. We don't know. And his tag team partner. Looks like it's going to be the world famous clown. Here he comes, making his entrance. Bill Selby's trying to get the crowd into it. We have a real good crowd here for this main event. The NWA Wrestling. Brought to you by Armstrong Cross-State Sports. World famous clowns trying to run. Looks like he ran out. Mr. Tyson Smith, the king of karate. Shane Matthews is staying behind the ropes. The crowd is chanting Selby. The Canova Crippler. Here we go, folks. Local folk legend hero, I guess. Uh, Phil Selby squaring off against none other than the superstar Shane Matthews, a veteran of many years. And we're going to see what Phil Selby can do. I mean, he's got his way in this match. Now it's time to see if he's going to be able to um, 
Yeah, well, they call Selby the Canova Grippler. We're getting ready to find out. Yeah. Just oh, man. Uh, what? What? The world famous clown up to his tricks. Knocks over Big Shane Matthews. Oh, man, look at this. They got the karate kid, what is this? Tyson Smith. Wow. <laughs> They ripped the shirt off of Tyson's back. Selby said he wants to go first. Him and Tyson, the king of karate, are going at it. Oh, they uh, just smacked him. It's been many years since I've seen Tyson Smith perform, but um, he's always been one of those performers, one of those you don't want to miss. Definitely you don't want to miss Tyson Smith in the ring. Here he tags back in his partner, the superstar Shane Matthews, against the world famous clown. I don't think Mr. Selby wanted any part of it. I think he said, hey, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll I be back in a minute. I don't think Shelby wants in any of uh, superstar Shane Matthews at this time. But he's in there right now with the world famous clown. The world famous. I mean, that's something I trademark. I might have to go home and talk to my attorneys about this. It's something <laughs> he's going by. Um, I'm not getting checks from the, the clown, but he's going by the world famous. And I, I'm right. the world famous, but, you know, it's okay. We're here for a good cause tonight, so I guess it. And Shane Matthews is. I think he got a little confused. The clown's up to his tricks again. Yeah. The clown was out of the ring, and Shane's still running the ropes, basically. <laughs> It's obviously, it's clear that Tyson and Shane are definitely off their game tonight. <laughs> I don't know if it's the crowds, the fine folks here at the uh, Wonder Dome, or not to have them thrown off the game, or, or what. But um, calling that will tie up. <laughs> the clown has uh, the superstar basically. That, 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 that's like classic Shane Matthews right there. Classic. This Love guy is very dangerous. Knows every trick in the book. He's been around the corner, down the block. He'll tell you been on the other side. In fact. If you leave it in, he'll say he's done more things in his life before he was legally, legally able to buy a pack of cigarettes than most people have in their entire life. If you ask him, he'll be more than happy to tell you that. Now the king of karate's in, Tyson Smith, giving the clown some business. So now referee Mike decides to step up and take some <laughs> charge. I see. Mr. Tyson, king of karate. Oh, wow. Backs the clown up. Showing disrespect towards Selby's wife. The clown is in a bad side of town. He's in a bad neighborhood. It's somewhere you don't want to be at night during the daytime. Any time of day, you don't want to be in that neighborhood. Looks like they distracted the referee. Oh, Tyson. Oh, and the backflip. They don't call him the king of karate for nothing, yeah. folks. He's a king of karate because he's why, a king of karate, yeah. You see he, why now he's called the king of karate. He didn't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to be the king of karate. He, he's the king of karate because he's legitly a king. Right. Regal. Yeah. The clown is in a world of pain. That's like the old 17 split, huh? Yeah. <laughs> St. Matthew's got the clown, the world famous clown in a headlock. Yeah. See, Shane Matthews, this is his tactic. He's going to get you down on the mat. He's going to wrestle you, or the old folks say wrestle. He will wrestle you, keep you on the mat. All head games aside and everything, the clown, I know he's known world, world, worldwide around the world. See, I'm trying not to call him world famous, but I can't help but call him world famous. Right. But Shane Matthews in his own way is world famous. So. <laughs> Looks like the Canova Crippler feels self. He's trying to get the crowd yeah, in. Yeah, he, he wants it pretty bad, but I mean, that's a, is that the best decision? The clown fights back. And down goes the clown. Shane has it down again. Got a two count. The clown. He's dazed and confused. I think the clown might need to adjust his hair a little bit. Yeah, it's a little wild tonight. But I tell you, I knew it was. Oh! I knew it. You can't trust the clown sometimes. You cannot trust the clown. You never know what they're going to do. And see, that's part of the mind games I alluded to earlier. See, superstar Shane Matthews wrestles a very conservative style. He does not take risks. The clown has him off his game. He's taking risks. That's leading to mistakes. But it looks like he's back in command and charge right now. Shane Matthews tags in the karate. King of karate. Ah. Oh. The chop. Across the chops.
Eight. And here's the tag to Selby. Here comes the Canova Crippler. Oh, the Canova Crippler. He's taking about The atomic elbow on top. As a Crippler elbow. Down goes Shane. Oh, and Down goes Shane again. Down goes Tyson. Now the Clowns back up. The Canova Crippler with the atomic, the clown with Shane Matthews. The Crippler and the Clown are running things here at the Warner Dome here in Canova. Referee Mikey doesn't know whether they're coming or going. They run each other into it. This spells trouble. This spells trouble with a capital T. The world famous clown gets on top. And the whoopee slam. Two, three. And your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. The team of Bruce Elliott and the world famous clown. Ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like the tag team champ, champion belts are going to the world famous clown. And the Canova Crippler, Phil Selby. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this NWA wrestling event here at the Wonder Dome of Cerrito Canova. We'd like to thank everybody especially Armstrong Cross Day Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time.